Um, this is a lightning talk. Uh, I think I'm prepared to speak for about five to six minutes. Um, I'm, I'm planning to speak a, a general topic about resilience uh, and how to get there, uh, you know, trying to implement and improve resilience, as well as the importance of resilience. Uh, first of all, I'm um, a bit of introduction about me and uh, what I do. Uh, I'm Uma Mukara, uh, maintainer of uh, Litmus Chaos, uh, the Chaos Engineering Project. I'm also head of Chaos Engineering at Harness, uh, the DevOps uh, platform company. Uh, before we get into telcos and why resilience um, is important in telcos, let me just talk about, in general, what's happening um, uh, on the IT in general, right? So the whole reason, you know, this entire conference is happening is, uh, you know, Kubernetes that started, you know, a few years ago. Everybody is trying to um, ship things faster, right? So speed is of the essence, right? So the entire uh, Kubernetes distributed infrastructure is coming is because, you know, you want to uh, ship things faster, right? And everybody is trying to move to cloud native primarily because of that, right? And one thing that uh, is very, very key while we all move to Kubernetes in a, in a big way, uh, which is already happening, is keeping the focus on the quality, right? We want to move to cloud native at the same time, you know, we need to be uh, having enough focus to keep the quality out there. And, um, you know, one thing that can happen is while all the, your developers are moving your apps onto uh, the cloud native side, uh, are they spending um, right uh, time on right things, right? So developer productivity should not be lost in doing a lot of debugging because somebody just uh, push things a little bit faster into into the production, right? So um, this, these things need to be uh, very uh, kept in sync. Uh, you need to ship things faster. You need to keep things uh, in focus as far as the quality is concerned. At the same time, you need to make sure that your developers are working on the right things, not uh, doing a lot of things on the tech debt or, you know, I ship things faster and I need to go debug, I need to refactor my code, everything. This can become quite tricky if you ignore, right? So you have to make sure that there is enough focus on reliability, right? So that's what's happening on IT as a whole, right? Now we are here talking about telco intro, right? If IT itself is having enough uh, challenges in that part of the uh, reliability space, how about uh, telco infrastructure? You know, telco is always special, right? You know, the infrastructure um, is, is kept uh, in focus. Um, it's a telco grid, that's what we generally call, right? So if you talk about the telco infrastructure, there are a lot of fundamental infrastructure pieces uh, that are uh, needed to be working uh, very, uh, reliably in a rigid manner, and one of them is, you know, CNFs, right? So uh, container network functions are fundamental pieces of um, um, uh, the infrastructure that needs to be reliable. So CNF is critical, and I'm here uh, trying to tell how uh, the CNF test suite is helping uh, achieve that reliability in, in general, right? So how can you actually uh, get reliability before you, you get there into the product um, is to practice the chaos engineering in the pipelines itself. What is chaos engineering? Right. Chaos engineering is, is about um, try to inject faults in a controlled manner, right, while you are in control and see what you can do about, uh, you know, uh, the weaknesses that are found, right? So you need not actually wait for the false talker. Um, you plan the faults and see if there is a resilience that is um, planned is actually you know, getting tested, right? So if you do this in a loop, that's chaos engineering. It's a well-known concept. But what's new is actually try to do it in the pipelines, right? So the chaos first principle um, is, is all about um, try to put chaos engineering before it actually gets into prod, maybe in pre-prod, maybe in your pipelines, DevOps pipelines, so that you know you, you are in control of whatever was already working continues to work under the fault conditions, right? So it's about building, the new innovation is about building the chaos engineering culture in the pipelines itself, 
right? And you can do this in telco grade infrastructure as well, right? And how you can do that is there are a couple of, um, a few chaos engineering open source projects that are hosted at CNCF. Uh, Litmus Chaos is one of them. Uh, it's at uh, incubating stage. Um, it, it works, um, you know, in a very simple way. At the same time, it's highly scalable. Uh, we have this project, uh, you know, in a high adoption rate. There are um, thousands of uh, chaos experiments that are run uh, in, in an open way. And um, it's, it's highly scalable as well, right? So it's a, you can say that it's telco grade. Uh, that really means that, you know, you can really scale um, chaos engineering experiments uh, using Litmus uh, to, to a very large level. And we have, um, I think, you know, in one of the Kubernetes um, conferences, KubeCon, uh, Orange talked about how they're using um, Litmus to do their pipelines in public. And uh, the CNF test suite, uh, which is sponsored by uh, the Cloud Native Foundation, they are using Litmus uh, uh, while verifying the CNF uh, code itself, right? And this is how they are doing it, right? So CNF test suite contains a lot of um, categories of tests, right? So they build things, they do some security testing, they do some scalability testing, observability testing, and there's also a resilience block, right? So the idea of this is um, you do some uh, network loss functions, latency functions, and then you know in, uh, increase the CPU hogs and memory hogs and see if uh, the application and the test is working continuously um, properly or not, right? So this, there is a good reference out there for you, uh, you know, if you want to see how to put resilience tests in pipelines. And um, the chaos first principle is, is pretty much easy to do it. This is a, a simple screenshot of how GitHub actions are being done um, in, in CNF test suite. As you can see that um, you, you deploy your tests, uh, deploy your functions, and then uh, start the tests in parallel. And then if everything is running fine, um, you know, it may, simple to be, it may look simple to begin with, but just imagine that there is a lot of code being uh, introduced newly into a release, and your last 10 or 15 pipelines were successful, and all of a sudden one thing fails, right? So what this really means that a lot of new code has been being pushed, but you know somebody overlooked this particular thing, and then you can stop it right there, right? So um, an example of this is there are about uh, 136 um, well uh, initiated tests that are out there in CNF, and 10 of them are resilience tests, right? So you can go ahead and take a look at um, the CNF tests uh, that's, that's out there in public, and there are a lot of other references too, and then try to inject them um, into your pipelines, right? Um, that's, that's what um, I'm here to tell you is a, is a way forward uh, you need not wait for resilience tests to be started when there is trouble, right? Use the chaos first principle. Use this as an innovation concept in your pipelines. Uh, the earlier you start um, in your telco grade pipelines uh, that is there out there, uh, it's much easier to start, right? And much simpler to start. And then you can keep adding your uh, chaos tests one by one with every release if there is a new um, a feature being added, you can tell your chaos teams, your DevOps teams that, hey, you know, add some more chaos uh, tests to this pipelines, and then, you know, uh, they get built up over a period of time, right? So uh, Litmus team is, you know, we are ready to help. Uh, it's pretty simple to inject uh, chaos tests into the pipeline, and um, you can join the Litmus channel in the Kubernetes Slack, or there are a lot of um, reference videos out there uh, how some of the telcos are using uh, Litmus in their pipelines. There are some good blogs as well to get started. So with that, um, I, would, I would like to say thank you for providing this opportunity and then you know, go, go resilient uh, with uh, Litmus Chaos. Thank you.